Bah, damn. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to get size on your triceps with one great tip. What's up guys, Chris with the Body Damn Channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to get size on your triceps with one really good exercise. Now this exercise you may or may not have done, but it is a dip. But more specifically, it's a weighted dip, very important. There are normal dips and there are weighted dips. So the dips that I like to do and the ones I'm referring to are the ones that you do on the thing that kind of looks like a pull-up station. And you can get these kind of pull-up stations at you know any kind of like workout store. And also they're at almost every single gym. They tend to have you know a place where you can do chin-ups, pull-ups, um, and then sometimes you can even do ab stuff and then they'll have bars on the side um, or maybe handles where you can actually get up into the machine and do dips. Some of these machines also provide assisted dips where it puts a pad right below your knees so if you cannot push your body weight up then you're able to at least do the dipping motion with some assistance by the weight stack but if you really want good size on your arms you have to realize that the tricep is about two-thirds the mass of your arm so working out your tricep actually you know builds some pretty big arms most people think well if I work out my biceps and do a bunch of curls my arms will look bigger but there's a lot of stuff behind the bicep, aka the tricep. And so you have to work out the tricep effectively in order to put the mass there and to show that the arm is truly bigger. So now let's get into the weighted dips. How can you do them? Let me get you some tips real quick so that way you can perform them at the gym. First of all, when you go up to the dip machine, you might realize that the grips are sometimes out, in, uh, sometimes there's like a V looking thing with two bars, right? What I like to do when I am focusing on emphasis on tricep through the dipping motion, I like to make sure that the grips are not really further from the body, but closer to the body. So if you have a positioning kind of thing where it switches from one to another, I would go to the closer one, okay? And same thing with the actual bars that tend to separate. You know, there's different kinds of like dipping things at the gym, but some are just two bars that separate. And um, you wouldn't want to be at the very widest part and you wouldn't want to be at the very, very front where it's super tight. You want to be, you know, maybe in that middle part where you can get your elbows close to your body because that is crucial in the movement. Well, this video is about weighted dips. So if you can't do a normal dip, then start getting accustomed to doing normal dips. If you have to get assisted for a while, that's okay. But you got to aim to get to at least body weight dips. And after that, really at that point, the tricep just starts going crazy. Like you can actually start adding weight to it, doing less reps and building more power, more size into your tricep. Okay, so back to what we were talking about. We want to get the grip kind of close to the body. The second thing to remember is to keep the elbows relatively close to the body as well. The third thing to remember is to try not to pitch forward a whole lot because then the emphasis becomes on the pectoralis major or basically the entire chest muscle. So imagine that I'm pitched forward. You can see right here that my chest is working a lot just to get me you know, back to my original starting position. So if you get kind of closer, all right, and you don't dip forward as much, now when I'm pressing down, you know, the, the pectoralis major isn't working as hard as if you were pitched super forward. You definitely don't want to be super pitched forward and it's kind of harder to do the dips when you're completely upright. So I like to pitch forward a little bit and that's basically where I start the movement. So let's talk about that. How do you weight the dips correctly, right? The very first thing is um, you wouldn't want to jump into the weight belt until you master getting maybe a 10, 20, 30, or even a 40 pound dumbbell, uh, you know, close to your knees as you can see right here. There comes a point where the dumbbell gets a little too heavy and you do need the belt. And that occurs somewhere around that 40 to 60 pound range. So at that point you want to get the dip belt and you want to start using it. Now when I'm doing heavy dips, I like to stay with the lower rep ranges. I want to stick with five by fives, right? Five sets, five reps. I want to stick with four by eights and maybe four by sixes, things like that. Things where I can work on getting stronger. Just like anything out there with fitness lifestyle, if you practice, you start getting better at it and you get way stronger. And when you get way stronger, right? that's when the size starts coming onto your arms. So remember all the tips from this video. If you have to go back and watch it, go ahead and do it. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a suggestion down below for another topic, let me know. And I'll talk to you on the next Bad Day video. Take it easy. Goodbye.